okay this is a good problem uh, covers the concept of center of mass frame so let us say this question says in the reference frame k two particles travel along the x axis so we have a reference frame k so let us call this is a reference frame k so this is my reference frame k this is x axis this is y axis two particles moves along the x axis mass m1 velocity v1 mass m2 with velocity v2 so let us say mass is m1 velocity is v1 mass is m2 and velocity is v2 these are the particle that is given to you along the positive direction of x axis the velocity v of the reference frame k dash find the velocity of reference frame k dash so let us say i have a reference frame another reference frame k dash so let us say uh, there is another reference frame so this reference frame let us call this as a k dash i have to find this reference frame is basically moving with velocity v so v is the velocity of reference frame k dash velocity of reference frame k dash are getting so this says the velocity of v of reference frame k dash in which the cumulative kinetic energy of these particles are minimum so first part of the question you have you have to find what should be the velocity so that kinetic energy of these particles in k dash reference frame is minimum what should be the velocity so that kinetic energy of particles in k dash frame is minimum so i want to find what is the k dash velocity of k dash so that kinetic energy is minimum are you getting so let us say velocity of frame k dash with k with respect to k k is basically not moving so velocity of k dash with k this is given to you capital v so this means k dash reference frame is moving with velocity v now if i let us say particle 1 velocity of particle 1 with respect to k i can write velocity of 1 with respect to k dash plus velocity of k dash with respect to k are you able to understand this one or not velocity of 1 with respect to k i can always write velocity of 1 with respect to k dash plus k dash with respect to k velocity of 1 with respect to k let us say is v1 this is given to you velocity of 1 with respect to k dash that i have to find it out plus velocity of k dash with respect to k that is capital v so now i have velocity of 1 with respect to k dash is v1 minus capital v similarly i can find velocity of 2 with respect to k dash will be v2 minus capital v now what will be the kinetic energy of system of particles so kinetic energy of system in k dash reference frame this will be equals to half m1 v1 k dash whole square plus half m2 v2 k dash reference whole square so this will be i can write half m1 v1 k dash that is v1 minus v whole square plus half m2 v2 minus v whole square so this is the total kinetic energy you have with respect to k dash reference frame are you getting or not now what i want is i want to minimize this kinetic energy so if i want to minimize this kinetic energy this is a function of v so if i want to minimize <laughs> sorry this one i should to take derivative with respect to v and then put it equals to zero if i do this what i will have differentiation of this is 2 
so 2 goes out so m1 v1 minus capital V with a minus sign should also be there because if I differentiate V there will be a minus sign 2 goes out so plus m2 v2 minus v and there will be a minus sign you get it Now if you solve for this, what you will have? So you will have minus goes out, so you will have m1 into v1 minus capital V plus m2 into v2 minus capital V is equals to 0. Now if I see this equation more clearly, I will have m1 v1 plus m2 v2 this should be equals to this side will have m1 plus m2 into capital V I'll get it now from here you can find capital V so capital V will be m1 V1 plus m2 V2 divided by m1 plus m2 so this is the velocity of reference frame K dash so V is the basically velocity of reference frame k dash velocity of k dash now you see this velocity is same as velocity of center of mass so this means if my reference frame is moving with the velocity of center of mass I will have minimum kinetic energy so this suggests me if I fix a frame itself onto the center of mass center of mass so my center of mass coincide with the k dash frame I will have minimum kinetic energy this means what kinetic energy will be minimum in center of mass frame so if somebody is sitting on the center of mass he will look the minimum kinetic energy so I can say from here minimum kinetic energy is possible in center of mass frame minimum kinetic energy is possible because this is the velocity of center of mass so this is the m1 v1 so this is same as velocity of center of mass so I can write this is same as VCM so minimum kinetic energy is possible this is for system possible in center of mass frame in CM frame some people call it simply C frame so minimum kinetic energy is possible in center of mass frame or C frame now B part of the question says uh, the cumulative curve find out the kinetic energy also so you have to find what will be the value of k so the kinetic energy will be you see in the last we have said half m1 v1 minus v whole square plus half m2 v2 minus v whole square now let us plug the value of capital V you will get the answer so you will have kinetic energy will be half m1 and this is just v1 minus v and v is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 whole square this is one term plus half m2 v2 square half m2 v2 minus m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 whole square now if you do calculation your own I think you can do this one so this will be half let me do half m1 so m1 v1 goes out so you will have m2 v1 minus m2 v2 so you will have m2 common basically you can take m2 common let me write m2 v1 minus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 whole square here you will have and here you will have half m2 again m1 v m2 v2 goes out so m1 v2 m1 v2 minus m1 v1 m1 v1 divided by m1 plus m2 raised to the power 2 are you getting so you should take m1 plus so half m1 plus m2 whole square you will have here so you will have m1 m2 whole square m1 into m2 whole square 
and you will have v1 minus v2 whole square and this is whole square plus m2 m1 whole square I think you are able to see and v2 minus v1 whole square so if you see if you take common So if you take common m1 m2 you will have 2m1 plus m2 whole square. Now v1 minus v2 whole square is same as v2 minus v1 square because this is a whole square. So I can take v1 minus v2 whole square and then I will have m1 plus m2. Are you getting? And now if you solve this one we will get the desired answer. So you will have is equals to, so let me write here, I think you are able to see. So you will have m1 m2 divided by 2 m1 plus m2 into v1 minus v2 whole square. Are you getting? I think all of you are able to see this one. So this will be the minimum kinetic energy you will have. So you see, this question gives me a good idea about the center of mass frame. So we have said, first part of the question says, find out the kind, find out the kinetic energy in reference frame K dash, and this kinetic energy should be minimum. For that, find out the velocity V. So we found this velocity comes out to be the velocity of center of mass. So this suggests me, if I attach a frame onto the center of mass itself, that the center of mass is moving with velocity V, and my frame is also moving with velocity V, in that frame, my frame is moving with velocity Vcm. In that frame, the kinetic energy will be minimum. If somebody asks the question, in which frame the kinetic energy minimum will be minimum, then you have to say it will be in the center of mass frame. Are you getting or not? We'll discuss some more problem of this kind. If you have copied this one. I think all of you have copied this one. Only this is the mathematics equation solving. Only one concept we have that is the finding the kinetic energy and then differentiating this equation. To find out the kinetic energy with respect to k, as I have said velocity of particle with respect to k is equal to velocity of particle with respect to k dash plus velocity of k dash with respect to the k itself. So I have used two equations. One equation is finding the velocity with respect to k dash and then kinetic energy and then differentiation. We will discuss the next problem. This is the easy problem.